few names echo through centuries like Pythagoras, revered as both a mystical prophet and mathematical pioneer. Born on the island of Samos, legend says he was the son of a citizen, or of the god Apollo himself. Samos flourished under Polycrates, tyrant, pirate, and patron of the arts. But Pythagoras saw only corruption and fled. He wandered, to Egypt, and perhaps beyond, gathering ancient wisdom to reshape the Greek mind. In southern Italy in the city of Croton, he found fertile ground for his ideas, and began anew. Pythagoras formed a brotherhood, half school, half sacred order. Knowledge was sacred. Life was ritual. From being taboos to sacred silence the rules were many, absurd to some, essential to the faithful. He taught that souls were immortal, cycling through lives endlessly, each being part of the great unity. Pythagoras heard numbers in music, saw harmony in shape. To him, math wasn't science. It was revelation. All things are numbers, he declared. A universe not of matter but of ratios, patterns and forms. His most famous discovery, the Pythagorean theorem, bound space with law and math with divinity. But the theorem hit a flaw, irrational numbers, a crack in his perfect cosmos. Some say the truth was punished. To Pythagoras, life mirrored the games, some trade, some fight, but the wisest watch and contemplate. His thought inspired Plato's ideals, Aquinas's theology, even modern science. His voice echoed in reason and revelation. A prophet of purity, a master of math. Pythagoras gave us more than numbers, he gave us a vision of eternal harmony.